The movie begins with a shy and introverted teenager named Jory who has fallen asleep on the bus on his way to school. But when his designated bus stop arrives, he is stuck in between the crowd and is unable to get off at his stop, prompting him to wait for the next one. He eventually gets off the bus and quickly rushes to school, where he heads over to the administration office. It turns out that Yuri is actually transferring to the high school from his previous one. After he processes the documents, Yuri takes a walk outside, where he stumbles into his childhood best friend, Takabana Shizuku. It's revealed that she's a model, and upon seeing her, Yuri is dumbfounded by her beauty. As a result, he drops all his notes, and Shizuku helps him pick them up. While she's at it, she recognizes Yori and becomes very happy to reunite with him after many years. The two catch up for a bit, and Shizuku takes Yori's number before leaving for class. The movie then cuts to a flashback from nine years ago, where we see a young Yori and Shizuku, along with one of their best friends, Subaru, auditioning for a movie role. Both Shizuku and Subaru announce that they aspire to become famous actors, while Yori says he wishes to speak with more confidence and overcome his awkwardness. It's also revealed that Subaru was always dominant and teased Yori quite a lot. This led to the latter being insecure and always doubting himself. However, Shizuku used to encourage Yori to think positively so that he could achieve his goals. Back in the present, Yori gets a call during class, and it's from Shizuku's manager. He calls him to his office and informs him that Shizuku has requested him to be her assistant as her previous one quit the job. Yori is initially reluctant, but accepts after realizing that he will be able to spend more time with Shizuku. Later, as he leaves the office, Yori bumps into a film director named Kondo. Upon seeing the clumsy Yori, for some reason, Kondo sees potential in him to become an actor and keeps an eye on him. Afterwards, Yori makes his way to Shizuku's changing room, where she asks him to buy her some lipstick for an upcoming show. Being her assistant, he obliges and quickly heads over to the supermarket. The movie then cuts to a year ago where Yori finds out via a magazine that Shizuku and Subaru are both on their path to achieving their childhood dreams of making it to the big screen. It's then revealed that Yori had decided to transfer to Shizuku's school to help her achieve her dream of becoming a movie star, as she has always been supportive of him in the past. Meanwhile in the present, Yori starts to do his job as Shizuku's assistant by managing her schedule and preparing for various events and interviews. One day, Yori informs her that she has a commercial shoot for an underwear product alongside Subaru. This makes her ecstatic as it's her first advertising job. However, on the day of the shoot, Yori learns that Suzuku has locked herself inside the changing room as she feels insecure about doing the photo shoot in lingerie. The director gets more frustrated by the second and wants to cancel as she has still not shown up. Luckily, Yori manages to convince her to do the shoot and they head to the studio, only to find out that it's been canceled and that Subaru has left. However, not wanting the opportunity to go to waste, Yori speaks up for Suzuku, saying that what they're doing is against the contract which she had signed. The director Kondo is also present there, so he proposes to use Yori as the model instead of Subaru. Our charming protagonist initially refuses as he is nervous of cameras, but after a lot of insisting, he agrees. To everyone's shock, Yori performs excellently in his first modeling gig. The resulting photos also come out very appealing and become very popular among the public. They even get featured on billboards across the city. Because of this sudden rise in popularity, Shizuku receives an audition offer for a mini-drama, making her happy. One day, as she and Yori practice lines for her upcoming audition, Subaru approaches them. He proceeds to flirt with Shizuku but ignores Yori, despite knowing him for years. The next day in class, Shizuku runs up to Yori and happily informs him that she got an opportunity to audition for a role in the play, Romeo and Juliet, with Subaru as her co-star. So to nail the audition, Yori helps her rehearse to be the perfect candidate for the role. But a few days later, the film crew receives news that Subaru has been in an accident and will be hospitalized for more than a month. Left with no choice, Kondo and the rest of the crew decide to postpone the play, breaking Shizuku's heart. However, Yori again steps up and asks Kondo to replace Subaru with him, claiming that he has learned all of the play's lines. He wants to make sure Shizuku doesn't have to wait for her breakthrough. The crew laughs at his offer, but Kondo, who is aware of his potential, appoints him as Subaru's replacement, much to everyone's shock. In the next scene, the audition begins, and Yori amazes everyone with his acting. Some say that he's even better than Subaru. A few weeks pass by, and during a practice session, Shizuku falls off a ladder, at which point Yori rushes to catch her. However, as he cushions her fall, Yori forgets to watch his footing and unfortunately sprains his leg in the process. Shortly after, Subaru enters the studio, and it turns out that he is completely healed from his injury, much quicker than expected. He thanks Yori for taking his place, but orders him to step aside, as he is now capable of playing the role. The latter is devastated by the news, but nonetheless, he hesitantly agrees and leaves the place with his sprained leg. Shizuku and Subaru then practice for the play, but it's evident that she is unhappy with Yori's dismissal. Later, she calls him and asks him to meet in person. However, Yori declines and assures her that she will do great in the play. He also promises that he will watch her from the sidelines. The movie then cuts to the day of the play where Yori visits the theater on crutches. 
Everyone is left in awe after Shizuku and Subaru's amazing performance, so they give a standing ovation. Yori is also very happy as he finally gets to see Shizuku advancing in her career to become a movie star. But this happiness doesn't last long as he overhears Subaru confessing his feelings for Shizuku. Yori believes that he will not be able to win her over, so he leaves the theater without meeting her. A few days pass by and Yori gets a call from Kondo, who offers him a role in a movie co-starring with a famous actress named Hana Yamada. The next day, he tells Shizuku of the offer and explains that he's thinking of declining it. This is because he wants to spend as much time as he can with Shizuku. Hearing this, the latter becomes angry and berates Yori. She reminds him that it's the opportunity of a lifetime, so he should seize it immediately. After the tongue lashing, Yori finally realizes the significance of the situation, and so he decides to accept Kondo's offer. Yori then begins shooting the new upcoming movie with his more experienced co-star Hana, while Shizuku is acting alongside Subaru. One day, Shizuku stumbles into Kondo, who shows her a sneak peek of the movie, which he is directing with Yori and Hana. When he comes to an intimate scene, Shizuku becomes jealous and rushes out of the room, bursting into tears. She then sees Yori and Subaru walking inside a studio and decides to follow them. There, the two boys talk about Shizuku while she eavesdrops on their conversation. It is at this point that she finds out that Yori has a crush on her. Meanwhile, Subaru proceeds to belittle Yori, saying that he is unworthy of Shizuku and will cause her public image to be stained. However, Yori challenges him, and they eventually agree that whoever wins the award for the best up-and-coming actor will get to pursue Shizuku. They shake hands on it, while Shizuku listens in shock. The movie then fast-forwards three months to the award shows being held for the movies. On the way to the event, Subaru's manager reveals that Yori and Hana's film has been a nationwide hit and is nominated to win several awards, troubling him. Meanwhile, Yori is already at the venue, preparing himself for the award show. A while later, the category for Best Up-and-Coming Actor arrives, and the tension in the air rises by the second. Finally, the host reveals the winner is actually Subaru, much to Yori's dismay. He is visibly heartbroken, while Subaru goes up on stage and proclaims Shizuku as his girlfriend to the media. In the aftermath of the ceremony, Shizuku rushes to find Yori to clear things up. However, it turns out that he has already left the venue, devastated. A few days pass by and during a call with Kondo, Yori reveals that he's decided to go to the States to pursue acting in Hollywood. He bids farewell to Kondo and thanks him for everything before heading to the airport. On the other hand, Shizuku is on a film set where her character is set to marry Subarus, but it's clear that she misses Yori a lot. Hence, she asks her manager about his whereabouts, to which he informs her of Yori's plan to move overseas. Meanwhile, as Yori walks towards the airport, he reminisces about all the times he spent with Shizuku. Realizing that she is the love of his life, he decides to fight for her and abandons his plans for Hollywood. Later, Yori reaches the film set where Shizuku is and interrupts their shoot. He asks the director of the movie Kondo for a few minutes with her, to which he obliges. Yori then approaches Shizuku and finally confesses his true feelings and proposes to her. Her eyes immediately begin to tear up and she also reveals that she has had a big crush on him ever since they were little, but couldn't muster the strength to tell him. The two are overfilled with joy, and Yori asks her to marry him. But in response, a tearful Shizuku says that he should go to the United States and pursue his dream so that she can marry him in the future when he is successful. Following this, they embrace and depart company, while Subaru gives a smug look from afar. The movie then cuts to America where we see Yori preparing to audition for a role while texting Shizuku, who still lives in Japan. After this, he enters the audition room hoping he can make it big in Hollywood. Although the task is a challenging one, Yori is confident in his abilities, and with a smile on his face, the movie ends.